good evening okay uh, in the last class we were discussing about uh, solid and the plane figures right no uh, did you list out the formula about cylinder cone i told you to write no have written panchami shreya did you practice the formula yes ma'am yes ma'am hmm, good okay today so i have finished almost all okay uh, just i'll revise statistics okay so you have studied about uh, statistics you are studying from 6th standard right now so what do we study in statistics it is the what do we do here ma'am we represent data in a uh, uh, understanding manner okay so we collect the this is what collection of data collection of data so collection of data is it is a branch of mathematics deals with the collection of data right now for example collection of data is nothing but it may be marks of the student or population or employees or literatures or illiterates right now so and uh, um, people who are working in factories right now so these are nothing but collection of data and here uh, that is nothing but organizing presenting analyzing and drawing atlas will give the conclusion for the data right now and so here we see grouped and ungrouped data right now so in ungrouped data the for example 3 8 2 1 10 15 like this if the numbers are like this this is these are what ungrouped data okay why if they are called and why it is ungrouped data because they are not arranged systematically they have they are, these are the numbers are arranged randomly right no so these are ungrouped data in grouped data we arrange the numbers in regular manner means uh, uh, orderly right no for example 0 to 10 for example uh, marks scored by the students okay these are marks and number of students 0 to 10 five members and 10 to 20 eight members 20 to 30 10 members and 30 to 40 15 members 40 to 50 nine members see here uh, data is arranged this is what one second so this is called group data right now so the data is arranged systematically okay see if you see this you can know easily 0 to 10 uh, or five members eight members are scored between 10 to 20 10 members are scored between 20 to 30 15 members are scored 30 to 40 and nine members are scored 40 to 50 and here these are called class intervals right now these are class intervals and number of students it is called frequency right now at last what do we do n is equal to we will add all and write the answer that is n okay number of students so here ci is nothing but class interval and what is the class size here what is the class size uh, 10 yes class size is 10 so here from 0 to 10 we have 10 students 10 to 20 and 10 to 20 this is not 11 right which is not included here children 10 is not included or 20 is not included mom 10 is not included 
I'm asking in second uh, 10 to 20. Don't confuse. Sorry, ma'am. 20, ma'am. 20 is not included right now. 20 is not included. We will write from 10 is included till 19 we write. Okay. So 10 goes to the next row. Okay, children. So that is what inclusive and exclusive class intervals. And uh, then uh, what is 10 here? It is upper limit and 20 is called lower limit. Okay. So what is range? Range. How will you find the range, children? Upper limit. What is a lower limit? Yes. Upper limit. So you know how to find the midpoint, right? Now midpoint. How do we find midpoint? That is uh, uh, upper limit plus lower limit by two. Right now, that is, okay, you will study in standard. Uh, then next, you know about the mean, median, and uh, mode, right now. So what is mean? Mean is nothing but? What is mean? Ma'am, it is a sum of all. Huh, sum of all the uh, observations. By what? So, for example, you okay. Uh, you will find the average of your marks right now. So, how, how will you find out? And total number of observations. Okay, total. That's it. Uh, how will you find the average? See, for example, you have scored 98, uh, 95, 94, and 92, and 96, and 95. Okay, now how will you uh, find the average of your marks? What is the average marks? How will you find out? How will you find out? You, you will find, the, find your percentage. No? How will you find out? Okay, nothing. You will add all the marks right now. So 98 plus 92 plus 96 plus 95. You will add all the marks and divide it by 6. If you divide it by 6, you will get the average marks right now. Got it? Panchami Shreya? Yes, ma'am. Ah, that is what me. Okay, so... For example, so first you have to arrange the numbers in order, children. One, five, they, they will give, uh, they won't, uh, it will be randomly. First you have to arrange the numbers in order, okay? Okay, we have five observations here. These are observations, right now. So mean is equal to, it is called x bar. Mean is equal to sum of observations. Sum of observations by total number of observation. Total number of observation. What is the sum of observation here? Write 1 plus 5 plus 6 plus 10 plus 15. Right? And what is total number here? How many numbers are given? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You have to divide it by 5. Okay. So what is the answer? 25, 30, 36, 37. So 37. What 
is 7.4 is average. Okay, so after adding all your marks, if you do divide by six, for example, um, it, uh, it may be 94% or 95% like that, no? This is what average of your marks. So mean is nothing but sum of observations by total number of observations. And what is median? And uh, for group data, this is for ungrouped data, no? For group data, it is sigma fx by n. Okay, sigma fx by n. Okay, you will study that in, uh, already has studied, it's okay, children. You will, uh, next, I will explain this in the next classes. And what is median? And the mid value. Okay, very good. Mid, middle value is nothing but median. For example, 3, 5, 7, 11, 15, 21, and 25. So, which is the median here? Which is the middle, middle value? See, here we have uh, seven terms. Right now, it is 11. Yes, middle number is very good. Middle number is 11. So that is the median. And if there are odd number of numbers, for example, we have seven here, seven numbers. So what do we do here? If n is odd, just we do n plus one by two. Right now, see n plus one by two. Term. Okay, so here n is 7, so 7 plus 1 by 2, that is equal to 7 plus 1 is 8 divided by 2. What is 4 here? This is not median. What is 4 here? What is 4 here, Panchami Shreya? Is this the answer? Ma'am, it is the term. Yes, fourth term. Okay. See, I, see already we are, I have written here, right? No, n plus one by two term. Okay. So which is the fourth term here? One, two, three, and four. Fourth term is median. Next for even number, if it is even number, n by two plus n by two plus one by two. So that is the formula to find the median children. And next mode, what is mode? What is mode? I'll give you example, for example, three, five, seven, five, 11, 15, five, 20, five, 30. What if it, which is mode here? Ma'am, five. Yes, why? Because it is repeated, ma'am. It is repeated how many times? One, two, three, four times. Okay, it is repeated. Uh, the number which repeated uh, maximum number of times, that is what? That is called mode. So here, five is mode. And next, you know about the probability, right? What is probability? Can you give example for probability? Ma'am, tossing of a coin. Tossing of coin. Okay, then. Ma'am, rolling Generally, of Okay, rolling of dice. So everything. Okay, those are in the textbook. Okay, generally, tell me, uh, give me any example. You know the meaning the of weather. Yes, weather. Okay. Uh, what, is, what do you mean by probability? It is measure of uncertainty. Right now, what do you mean by uncertainty? What do you mean we have the chance? Sorry? Which may have the chance of it. Chance, very good. Okay. 
For example, it may rain today. Okay, it may. We are using the word may, but we don't know exactly it will rain or not. Right? No. Right? No. So it may rain today or tomorrow. Rain? Right? No. So, uh, so maybe this time we'll get I uh, what IPL cup. Okay, but we don't know whether we will get it or not. Right? No. So that is what measure of uncertainty. That is nothing but probability so if you toss a coin or if you throw the dice we don't know which number do you know that we don't know right now <laughs> huh? whether it will be six or four or five one two right so like the measure of uncertainty is nothing but probability for example if you toss a coin two times So it may, we may get, okay, what are the prop, uh, possibilities here, children? When you toss the coin two times, we may get head, head, then? Tails, tails. Ah, bo tails. Both are tails, then? Head and tails. Head and tails, next. Sorry, heads and tail, <laughs> next. Mom, tails and head. Tail and heads. Okay. So we have four possibilities here right now. Head, head, tail, heads, heads, tail, tail, heads, tail, tail, heads. Okay. We have four possibilities here. And what about uh, dice? We have six possibilities right now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Suppose if they give uh, probability of getting even numbers. Probability of getting even numbers. How will you write this? Probability of getting even numbers. Ma'am, three. three. Uh, is it only three or what? Okay, three is the answer. Then, right, uh, which are even numbers here? Two, four, and six. We have three numbers, you said three. But what do you have to write in the denominator? Number. Total six. outcomes, right now. So, total outcomes is six. And? Favorable outcomes as three. So we are asking only even number that is favorable outcomes. Okay. Uh, suppose uh, probability of uh, getting less than five. Less than five. One four by six. Four by six. See, I'm asking less than means five is not included. Okay. Less than five means you have to take one, two, three, four. That is four by total outcomes is six. And what is the value of probability always? Uh, uh, it is uh, greater than one or zero or what is the answer? The value of probability will be what? One equal to one or more than equal to one or more than one more than one okay say so both are six six means okay you will get one see always it will be great it will not be less than one right now why it will not be less than one Be sorry great so you said greater than one now yes, yes, is it greater than one what about Shreya? Is it greater Some, than one? Huh, tell me. Some it is equal to one. Or? What is another answer? Greater than one or less than one? See, if you see the fractions, I have written uh, fra two fractions here. If you see Some this, it you is can... greater than one. It is how it is greater than one. 
Okay, both are greater than one, na? Okay, what is the answer of three by six Panchami Shreya? <coughs> one by three, ma'am. One by three, not one by two. It is not one by three. Sorry, ma'am. Okay, what is the value of one by two? We get decimals now. What is the value of 1 by 2? Ma'am, 0.5. Yes, 0 0.5. Is it greater than 1 or less than 1? Less than 1. Less than 1. What is the 4 by say 2 twos or 2 threes? So what is 2 by 3? What is the answer? Just tell me one, one uh, decimal place enough. Tell me one decimal place enough. What is 2 by 3? 0 0.6. 0 0.6, no. Then is it less than 1 or greater than 1? Less than 1. Yes, okay. Did you understand? See, always it is less than 1 because the denominator will be greater than the numerator. Right, no? We'll write, uh, we are writing total outcomes in denominator. Right, no? So, it will be equal to 1 or less than 1. Okay, uh, I think I covered all the portions. Hmm. Now, shall I give uh, uh, factorization some children? Will you do that? Because you have that in a quadratic equation, so you have to solve. Okay, shall I give the sums? Yes, ma'am. Yes, I think Shreya, that day Shreya was absent. Uh, you know that concept, uh, how to factorize, the, how to find the zeros or roots of the polynomial. Okay, I'll give you, just you try. If you don't know, I will teach you, don't worry. First one x square minus 2x minus 8 is equal to 0. So, which poly, what type of polynomial it is? What type of polynomial? What is the degree of the uh, variable here? Degree is? Quadratic. Yes, degree is 2. So, it is quadratic polynomial. Okay. Uh, find the factors for this are uh, zeros of the polynomial. First, right, it is in the form of x square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Then, a, what are a, b, c? Coefficient of x square is 1. Coefficient of x is minus 2, c is minus a. Okay, do and tell me the answer. Did you get the answer? 
Are you getting Panchami Shreya? Do it fast. Are you getting Panchami Shreya? Ma'am, I'm not getting it properly, ma'am. Okay, okay, no problem. I'll uh, I'll teach you this. Okay, see, this is in the form of AX square plus BX plus C. See, if you see the term, children, here, what is the degree of X? X square, here also we have X square, X, X. This is constant, right? now. See, this is in the form of AX square. This is general formula of quadratic polynomial okay see write what are a b c here this is what are a b c here these are constants right now so what is a here in place of a we have one i have written here a is equal to one what is b b is nothing but coefficient of x what is coefficient of x here minus two write the values first what is c constant that is minus a and now do a into c means we do a into c what is a here one what is c minus a so what is the answer minus a first write the first write what are a b c then find a into c that is equal to a and what is b minus two keep as it is what is the next step See, you have to take any two numbers. Okay, you have to take any two numbers. So they should be uh, in such a way that the product should be minus a and sub sh sum should be minus two. You have to find which are the two numbers. Okay, product should be, see, product should be minus a and just to take the uh, factors of eight, okay? Sum should be minus two. First, tell me the, uh, where, where will we get eight? We get in two table, four table, eight table. But here we have to get two answer, right now. So tell me the factors, which factors will you take? Ma'am, two and four. Yes, okay. See, we can take four and two. Correct now, we have written four twos are eight. But here we have to get minus a right now. So that means what one of the numbers should be minus. And which number should be negative and which number should be positive? That number should be, bigger. yes, that should be decided by the value b. If b is negative, see when do we get, uh, for example, 5 and 3 is equal to. My, we have to get a minus 2 answer here. Okay, where will you put minus here uh, for 5 or 3? 5. If you ma. put mama minus 3, 5 minus 3 is plus 2 right now. So if you put minus for 5, this is plus 3 and this is minus right now. Uh, now 5 minus 3 is 2, big number has minus sign. So we have put minus sign. So by seeing the value of B, you have to put the signs here. Understood, got it, Shreya? Yes, ma'am. By seeing C here, we have to get negative answer right now. That means what one should be plus and another one should be. If both are minus means minus into minus becomes plus right now. So one should be plus, one should be minus. So which one? See, by seeing the value of B, B is negative. So, big number should be negative, smaller number should be positive. Okay, that's why I'm giving these problems. Okay, uh, see, 
minus 4 into plus 2 plus into minus is minus 4 2s are 8 we got minus 8 correctly and what about minus 4 and plus 2 so signs are different you will subtract the number big number has minus sign so we are getting minus 2 correct uh? so which num which are the two numbers minus 4 and plus 2 got it yes ma'am so by using these two numbers we are going to split the middle term okay i will write once again x squared x minus 4 bracket and x plus 2 huh mm -hmm. right so what is uh, what are the numbers here minus 4 and 2 right so we are going to split the middle term by using these two numbers, which are the two numbers minus 4 and 2. So here, instead of minus 2x, I am writing minus 4x and this is plus 2. See minus 4 plus 2, what is this? Minus 2x. We are getting the same answer. In place, we are splitting this number as by using these, these two numbers. And constant right as it is now what is the next step you have to group the numbers group two two terms what is common in this both x is x. common yes take it outside the bracket then what is remaining here one x is outside x minus four ma'am very good x minus four next what is common here two two is common plus two is common here we have minus sign. Here also we have minus sign. So a 2 is common. Right? X minus. We have 8 here. 2 is common. So what is remaining? 2 fours are 8. 2 four fours nine. are 8. See always these, should, these two should be same children. Okay? If it is my X minus 4, it should be X minus 4. Okay? And X minus 4 is common. Take it outside. What is remaining here? X is remaining right in bracket. And what is remaining here? 2 is remaining. That is equal to 0. Now, equate to 0. X minus 4 is equal to 0. Now, X plus 2 is equal to 0. Now, x is equal to i am taking this 4 to right hand side minus 4 becomes plus 4 and here plus 2 becomes minus 2 so what are which are the roots here minus 2 and plus 4 is it right yes ma'am yes <laughs> Okay, I'll give. Did you understand, Shreya? Yes, ma'am. Shall I give one more sum? Okay. Yes. Both should get the answer. 3x square minus x minus 4 is equal to 0. Yes. Right, it is in the form of x square plus bx plus c. Is it? While writing a, b, c, you should be careful with the signs, children. A is equal to, A is nothing but coefficient of x square is 3. B is, what is B? If there is no any number, you should write 1. C is minus 4. So, A into C, that is 3 into minus 4 is equal to minus 12. And B, it is minus 1. Okay. Till that I have given, you continue that. So, product should be minus 12. Okay. Product should be minus 12 and sum should be minus 1. Yes. Get the numbers and tell me fast. Just take the factors of 12. And sum are different should be 1. That's it. Mom got them. Huh, which are the numbers? One minus uh minus one and four by three. 
Oh, you got the answer. What are, oh, tell me, tell me which numbers you have taken here. Man, factors three x minus four and x plus one. You have taken three and four. What about signs? Man, uh, minus four plus three, minus four x. Minus four and plus three. Okay. Good. So, because B is negative, no? B is negative number. So, big number should be negative. The smaller number should be positive. Good. Shreya, are you getting? Write three x square as it is. We are going to split the middle term by using minus four and plus three. Right? Minus four. I write plus three because we have three here. No, you can write any number. No problem. Okay. Three x minus four x minus four is equal to zero. So group the terms. Two two terms. Three x is common. x plus 3. See here. Mom, it should be x plus 1. One second one. Where? Which one? One second. Numbers are correct. No? Four threes are 12. And this is minus 1. 3x square plus 3x minus 4x minus 4. I think the problem is wrong. Did you get the answer, Panchami? Yes, ma'am, but I wrote it as a, a minus 4x plus 3x. Like, um, yes, ma'am. I also did the same. Ma'am, you have written plus 3x minus 4x. I mean, the arrangement is no. No, anyway, we get, okay. Not like that. One second. So, we have written 3x square, no? So, in place of minus x, we are writing 4x plus 3x minus 4 is equal to 0. What is common here? x is common. So 3x minus 4. Okay. And one more thing. See here we are getting 3x minus 4 right now. And okay, here also we are getting minus. Okay, correct. 3x minus 4, that is equal to 0. One second, if you interchange this, will we get it or not? One second, I'll check it once. I wrote 3x square. Even if we interchange, we have to get the answer. One second. See, common is 3x. x plus 1. And the minus is common. Yes. Yeah, we are getting no. <laughs> you can Mom, write. But the last time you wrote uh, x plus 3, ma'am, in the place of 1. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, anyway, we get no problem. Okay. We can interchange the terms here. No problem. See, x is equal to minus 1. And 3x is equal to 4. x is equal to 4 by 3. Yes, we, we will get children. Okay. And yes. 3x minus 4 is common and this is x plus 1 is equal to 0. 
So x plus one is equal to zero and three x minus four is equal to zero. X is equal to, if you take plus one, it becomes minus one. Three x is equal to four. X is equal to four by three. Yes, correct answers. Okay. You can interchange the terms, no problem. You will get it correctly. Okay, did you understand Shreya? Yes, ma'am. Uh, I'll give one more sum. 2x square plus x minus 6 is equal to 0. It is in the form of x square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Write what are a, b, c. a is equal to 2, b is 1, c is equal to minus 6. a into c, 2 into minus 6, that is minus 12. Minus 12 should be, it is the product. b is 1, sum should be 1. See which are the two numbers. Mom, the answer is minus two and three by two. Minus 2 and 3 by 2, na? Okay. Hmm. Now, I will check it. What about Shreya? Okay, do and tell me the answer. Mom, it is minus 2 and 3 by 2. You got it. Very good. <clears throat> yes, right. 2x square. I will write once again. Uh, see, which are the two numbers here? Four threes are 12, right? No, four threes are 12. Four minus three is one, right? No, we had to get one. But B is positive. So big number should be positive. Smaller number should be negative. No doubt in this, no? Both of you? No, ma'am. Huh, good. Plus 4x minus 3x minus 6 is equal to zero. Yes, group the terms. 2x is common, x plus 2. See here, children, we have x plus 2, but here we are getting minus, right? No, here it is x plus 2, but here we will get x minus 2, right? No, so if you have opposite signs like this, you have to take minus as common factor. Got it? So then you will get plus sign. See, whenever you take minus as common factor, the signs inside the brackets will be changed. Say it is, you had taken minus 3 here, x is remaining, and it is minus, so you have minus sign. So if you have taken minus as common factor, it becomes plus. So 2, sir. Then x is equal to minus 2. So 2x is equal to 3. x is equal to 3 by 2. Right, children? Very good. Okay, I'll give some uh, problem on uh, surface area and volume. Volume is equal to volume of volume of a cone is equal to 48 <coughs> 48 pi centimeter cube and height is given height is equal to 9 centimeter fine diameter okay so you know the formula of volume of cone What is the volume of cone children formula? Shall I write?
1 by 3 pi square h okay F find the find the value of d children tell me You keep pi as it is so that you can cancel with uh, right hand side, okay? 48 pi. Pi will be cancelled. So keep as it is. Don't substitute the value. Got the answer? Come on, do fast. Are you getting or uh, shall I explain the sum? What mm -hmm. answer, Panchami? How much? Uh, yes. 16. Uh, well, what is 16? The diameter is 16, no? Huh? Okay. Huh. Diameter. Okay, what about Shreya? No, ma'am, diameter, I think it's eight now. Eight, okay. And the uh, uh, radius is four. Uh, radius is four. Uh, I think so. I have a doubt. Can you please explain? Okay, yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay, see, well, they have given volume of cone. Okay, that is 48 pi centimeter cube. Height is given, you have to find the diameter. What is, and we know the formula of volume of cone. You should know all the formula, children. Cone, uh, sphere. Yesterday I gave, you know, sphere, hemisphere, cuboid, cube, cylinder, everything, okay? So V is equal to 1 by 3 pi square H is the formula. And they have given volume. Just substitute in place of V. 48 pi is equal to in place of volume i have written the value okay that uh, is equal to write one by three pi right as it keep it as it is because here left hand side also we have pi so that you can cancel it r, r is not given right as it is and h is given what is h here nine right now you can cancel pi and pi gets cancelled then which numbers can you cancel here in denominator we have three, three. Ones are and three threes are. yes in denominator we have three you can cancel nine three ones three threes right now r square is equal to right 48 as it is in the left hand side and now we are going to shift this three to left hand side so it comes to denominator. So R square is equal to, what is 48 by 3? 3 ones 3, right? 3 6 are 18, right? No. So here we got R square is 16. And what about R? How will you find R? Here we have square. So take square root on both the sides okay we need only r but we have r square so take square root on both the sides this two will be cancelled with square root how it is cancelled with square root can you explain me
how this two will be cancelled with square root. What is the value of square root? See, in all the sums you are writing, no square cancel with square root, square cancel with square root. How is it? Panchami? Shreya? You, you, uh, you know or not? See, value of square root is 1 by 2. Okay. So, value of square is, sorry, square root is 1 by 2. And here we have square right now. So, these two will be cancelled. Answer is R. So, square cancel with square root. So, R is, what is square root of 16? It is 4. So, R is 4. And what about D? D is nothing but 2 times R. Right now. So, yesterday I explained that in diameter, there are two radii. Right now. If it is 4 centimeter, what will be the diameter? See, 4 plus 4, it is 8 centimeter. Is Di eight. Diameter is 8 centimeter. So, 2 into 4, that is equal to 8. That is, D is equal to 8 centimeter. Okay. Next. I'll give you another sum you do at home, children. Uh, height of the cone, height, height of the cone is given that is equal to 15 centimeter, volume is given 1570 centimeter cube, so R is equal to question mark, you practice at home. And circumference of the base of the cylinder. Cylindrical vessel is equal to 132 centimeter. Okay, circumference is given 132 centimeter. H is height is equal to height of the cylinder is 25 centimeter. So you have to find the volume. Volume of the cylinder. So, what is circumference formula? You know that, right? 2 pi r. 2 pi r is given 132. So, you can find r here, right? No. So, by using 2 pi r, uh, find the value of r, then find the volume of the cylinder. What is volume of the cylinder? See, cone is 1 by 3 pi r square h, right? No. So, cone is only pi r square h. That's it. So, see, I'll write here 2 pi r. You can use the formula. Volume is equal to pi r square h. Use these two formula and find out. And I'll give one more. Diameter is equal to 10.5 centimeter. And volume of volume of the hemisphere hemisphere ball. Just write a volume of hemisphere. What is volume of hemisphere? Yesterday I have given this uh, uh, formula. Just you see and write. Okay. Will you do all these three sums? I think we'll start the chapters from uh, my classes Tuesday, no? Yes, I'll start from Tuesday, children. Okay. Okay. Shall we wind up the class? Yes, ma'am. Have you written on these questions? Yes, ma'am. Uh, yes, ma'am. Huh.
ஆ ஓகே மேம் தேங்க் யூ தேங்க் யூ பை 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 தேங்க் யூ மேம்